Hi everybody and welcome back to our Google Classroom course. This lesson is my favorite lesson and pretty much the most important lesson in Google Classroom. If you walk away with anything, it is this. Students should create from classroom always. Always, always, always. We've all learned how to go out into the Google universe to navigate through Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, all these different environments. We usually go out, we create something, we finish it, and in essence, we share it or hand it in. This is something that can be avoided with Google Classroom. When we have students create from Classroom, what it does is it makes a formative connection with you and the student and their assignment from the very minute you create the assignment without having to wait for something to be handed in at the end. When something is just handed in at the end, you're seeing just that sort of final version of it and you can't help use some of the different technology uh, formatively throughout the assignment as students are going. Also, what I like about this is you know, end up with untitled document one through 18 and one person did a, a Google Doc and somebody else was trying to hand in a Microsoft Word. It gets kind of money. So what I'm gonna show you is how we can create an assignment in the Google Classroom as a container and students are the ones who actually create the templates or the content by simply adding and creating it in the classroom. Now, the reason this is so ambiguous for teachers is because their view, student view and teacher view are totally different when it comes to the assignment. The two magic, wonderful buttons that help us do this, add and create, we can't see from the teacher view. So I think sometimes we forget it's there. So I'm gonna show you how I can create an assignment for my students, attach nothing, I don't have to put in a template, I don't have to put in a document, I don't have to put in anything. Now, I'm not saying don't ever have to do that. We could have a nice um, YouTube video, a support link with information. And so I'm gonna show you how I can create that for my students, but they then create an ad from Classroom. So what I'm gonna get you to do is go to classroom.google.com. Now, if you are part of this course and you joined the classroom as a student previously, that's really going to help you because you're gonna to get to see this from the student view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna display that class code again. So if you weren't able to join in our previous lessons, you can join now so you can see what it's like as a student now that I've created this assignment. So that class code again for anybody just joining us, is 47VU61. So my first step is I'm going to create my story writing assignment. So now that I've created my assignment, I've given the instructions that I want them to be create a narrative story. Now, I don't have to include anything here, but I did want to support my students and use the power of Google Classroom, so I've given them a YouTube video about how to write a great short story going through the story arc, and I do have an online game um, where the students can interactively pre-write their story and help get a little bit organized. Now, I have not included any Google Docs or any attachments for them to create this in. Normally what used to happen is we'd have students go out there, create the story, hand it in. That's how we end up with 37 shared with me emails or the lost USB drive or the it deleted. This avoids all of that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to assign this and then I'm going to show you the student view. Now, if you're following along uh, with this tutorial, this is where you're going to open up your classroom and go to your student view in this assignment I'm posting with that class code I had uh, sent you all to be able to join. And you're going to see those two very important buttons, add and create. So I'm in my student view. And I can see in my classwork stream, I've got narrative writing and there's the write a story that was posted. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna look at that, and I'm gonna view my assignment. When students view the assignment, they see two important buttons. They see add and they see create. They're also going to see the extras that I've attached to this assignment to help them. So there's the YouTube video and the game. What students are going to do as soon as they open up this assignment, they're not gonna go out to Docs or Drive to create. They're going to hit create doc or whatever format right from here. What happens is it creates the document, titles it with the student's name and the name of the assignment right now. No more lost digital materials. The students can now open up that document and they can begin to work on it and write their story. The students can continue to write in here. And there's some amazing features of Google Docs that can really help some of our students. 
we know that the students can go ahead and they can voice type their story. This is really going to help students who struggle with being able to put their words in print or struggle with typing. There's also a built-in dictionary, explore tool, spelling, and we know that our read and write toolbar is enabled for every single staff and student in the district so that we have built-in word prediction, another dictionary and picture dictionary, speech to text, highlighting tools, vocabulary builder, voice notes, and more. If you want a little bit more information on Google Docs and read and write as a powerful tool, you're definitely going to want to check out our Google Docs online course and our read and write online course. So now back to our story. As the teacher, because I allowed the student to create from classroom, it means I already have access to that document and I can see the progress of their work without them having to even turn it in. No emails, no shared with me, no USB drives. So I'm going to go back to my teacher view and show you what that looks like. So in my teacher view, I'm going to go into that same assignment and I'm going to view that assignment. I can see that I've um, assigned it to my class. I've got three students right now. Right now, the reason Dane and John don't have any attachments is because they haven't even opened the assignment yet. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think they knew I assigned it. But that does tell me as a teacher, if I do have students who haven't even begun working, I can now have that conversation with them to help them get started. Any student who has opened the assignment and hit create, you're going to actually see the document that they've created. And also please note, they can create multiple documents. They could create slides to go with this. They could create a Google drawing for their character sketch. You name it can be added right there in this one assignment and you will have access to it all. So now as the teacher, I can go into this actual Google Doc and I can actually see them in here working and see that they're typing and be able to leave some feedback for them formatively. I can put in some comments, I could leave some voice notes just to be able to help them on their way. Now we have a whole lesson that's just focused on the assessment in Google Classroom, so I'm not going to show you too much yet. Um, that's in one of our, our next lessons. But just know that I have that access right now with that student and I don't have to wait to the end. I can also use the power of version history to tell me when have they opened it? How long have they been working on it? Did they suddenly in one minute go from one sentence to three paragraphs? Hmm, we might have copy and pasted. So it really does help us keep tabs of our students and see how they're doing. And now the second button that we want students to be able to do is add. In this same story, we can see that the student created and they could continue to create different types of, of Google Apps. Add, this is fantastic for media because perhaps I was able to do a screen recording, recording myself telling the story. Maybe I took some pictures on one of the class iPads. Maybe I have another file that I've created that I want to attach. This is where we can have students also add additional materials to the Google Classroom assignment so you have access to any amount of components that they want to be able to hand in. So that ad, it's absolutely fantastic to be able to be connected to our students from the start without having to be the ones to always create the templates and without always having to wait to the end of assignment for something to be handed in. So that's our number one recommendation for you. We want you to be able to give it a try. If you've joined our Google Classroom, I challenge you all right now to create from Classroom just to see what it does to be able to have your name put on it, the name of your assignment, and I'd love to give you all some feedback. If you have any questions, just let me know.